Coming to you from a wrong turn off Route 66. Somewhere in the Sonoran Desert, it's James Out West featuring Ryan Brooks. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, James Out West, Friday, June 4th, 2021. Not a weekend show. We got it in during the week. We did. That's yes. impressive. Kids are out of school. We have less responsibilities yet somehow. I got some good grandparents, you know, <laughs> <laughs> taking care of some kids. It's good. I, I like it. Uh, how was your week? My week was pretty good. I mean, other than putting up ceiling fans and all kinds of stuff going on in the Pain house. Ceilings. Oh, my goodness. You other always than that, are we're doing good. stuff around Something. The house. There's always There's, something. Well, that's what happens. You got, that's the life of a homeowner. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I went uh, four wheeling last weekend and uh, ended up having to try and help a homie get out of the sand and popped a tire. So, so spent a nice little chunk of change on a all new terrain tires. Is this one of those lessons where if you don't have four wheel drive, don't go ah into don't. the sand? If you have a four by two, you don't go four by four. That makes sense. <laughs> it, it seems you don't play football with a basketball. It, what you're saying? It, it, it seems like common sense to me, but it was a nice solid two and a half hours of struggling, changing tires. Pulling people and then ultimately dragging out. But it worked. Hey, Woo. fun Forward. times. It was a memory that I will never forget. Let's I'm, put it that way. Is that a good memory, though? Yeah, because I had my son with me. Okay. I'll take it that way. Okay. I, I, I'll spin it that way. Let's put it that way. Um, okay. Like so, his tires were spinning. Yes. And then stuck. Uh, oh, okay. We don't need, we're, I don't, I don't want to bash too much. Um, we're going to get into the AFC West. Yeah. So I'm going to do... Kansas City and the Las Vegas Raiders. Yep, you're gonna. I have the other two chuckleheads in the group. Okay, so the Chargers, I'll say. Yeah, and Denver. Yeah. Okay, but before we get into that, so Rogers, do you think he's gonna move? No. Do you think so? I was thinking about this today, and I guess I really didn't ponder it. He's gonna go to the AFC. He's gonna be in the same division with Kansas City. That's why he's not gonna go. They have, but it, they could have a, a actual team that could contend against them with their defense, with Denver's Ooh. defense. I guess. I'm just saying that would make a contender at the same point. Do you want to put yourself in that position or stay with? Why would you leave? Now, granted, everything's bigger than just, you know, your opponents, but why would you leave a division that you have a stranglehold on to go to a division that you definitely do not? I agree. That's the, there's, there's you a mean lot I may of, not even win my division? I'm going to be playing for potentially probably a wild card. So I thought it was going to be June 2nd. We would know. No. Is he gone? Okay. He has never missed a mandatory mini camp. June 8th is mandatory mini cap camp. I think if he doesn't show up, then it's going to be a lot more interesting. So we'll see. I honestly don't. I don't think he shows up until preseason has started. And because guess he, what? It doesn't does, matter. He knows the offense. They know him. None of his guys are going to have chemistry they're problems gonna, with Rodgers. And what are they going to do? Think not gonna start him? him to start? Yeah, 100%. You want to win games or professionals. They may not like him. It's a business. May not like him, but he's the best chance of winning any games. You're going to roll in there with Jordan Love or uh, ripping darts, Blake Bortles? I don't think so, bub. Hey, you want to prove a point? They did it every 16 years. Prove a point. Well, when you have somebody that's there in the wings, I don't think Jordan loves. They're is already the, in liking the wings. him. I agree, but we haven't seen enough of him. No. So who knows? No. Um, the other interesting point. So did you hear Mahomes? And this wasn't him coming out and saying it and bragging about it, but Mahomes saying his goal is to go twenty and zero. Sure. Brady said he'd give up two Super Bowl rings to have the undefeated season. Right. You think it matters? Could they? Yeah. Will they? No. It's hard. They're I mean, not going to win think 17 about with Brady games and that, plus the playoffs. They lost to the stinking Giants in the Super Bowl off some crazy. Like, the fact that you even think about that and seeing Tom Brady, and then now you hear Tom Brady wasn't 100% because his knee last year was off, so this year he's going to be better. They See, should be better, but you can be better and win less games. You could feel better at the beginning of the you season. You could be a better team season. and win less games. Let's talk, let's talk at week 14, week 17, week 18. With the bye. Yeah, no. Right, technically, I guess. Yeah, no. So, okay. Do you want to get into these? You want to let me get into Kansas City? You gonna sure. Get no, yeah, go ahead. All right. So, we start with your boys. Yeah, I mean, week one. I mean, out the gate. I in think Kansas they, City. They got you. 
I'll give you that. I'm not going to okay. argue that too much. So then they're going to be at Baltimore. That's going to be an interesting game. I still think they got it. Then they're going to be at home against the Chargers. Think they got it. At Philly. Think Kansas City got it. At home versus Buffalo. I think that might be their first loss. I That's going to be an interesting game. Then they're at Washington. Got it. At Tennessee. Probably got it. Then they're at home in New York and Green Bay. Definitely got New York. Green Bay is going to be, depending on Everything who, depends who's on gonna, Rogers. who's going to play there, but I still think they got that. Then they're going to be at Vegas. Got it. They're going to be hosting Dallas. Got it. Easy. Denver, Vegas. Easy. Okay, maybe not, but I, I just might have pers- some respect my personal for feelings. Dak. Okay. I have, Put some spec on his name. It's not Dak. It's Dallas. Um, okay, so then. It's Dakota. Prescott. Thank you very much. Do you want me to like yeah, Trey no, Lance in the, in the, no, in the Madison Garden yeah, yeah, like in Bauer? Okay. Um, so then they have Denver and Vegas at home. Think they got both of those. At LA Chargers. Got it. Pittsburgh at home. Got it. Bengals. Got it. Denver. Got it. So you have them winning every game. They'll be favored in every game. I say they lose no more than two games this season. Okay. So I said on this thing, with going through this, I said they were going to lose one probably to Buffalo. But I would take no more than two games. Okay. I have them winning 13 to 14 games, so I have them losing three or four. So you're doubling. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. All I right. just think it's so difficult – and there are so their it's, schedule it's, has a lot of that Baltimore of game, that Cleveland game, that Green Bay game. Their division's not slouches. I mean, the Raiders, for God's sakes, beat them in their own house last year. I mean, I just, that came back to bite them in the A, but still. I like them. I think they're good. I no, they're, they're very good. And they revamped their offensive line. Yeah. It's like they got rid of guys. Their offensive line was terrible. And now they have and probably they have the second best line in the league. Yeah. Or maybe the first. We'll see how the, you know. How it all washes out. I like it. I think they're going to hands down take this division. Yeah, I agree with you. Even though we, we started with them, I still think they take it. All right. I agree. Uh, we'll go with the Chargers. They're at they're at Excuse the me. Washington football team week one. Now, listen, okay. that Washington football team made the playoffs, gave Tampa Bay a run for their money in the playoffs. They have a stud defensive front seven. Might be the best front seven in the league. Um, It is... First year head coach Brandon Staley, he's a defensive guy. Yep, brought in Joe Lombardi to be the OC. <laughs> yes, all right. Joe Lombardi's been in New Orleans the last four years, so he's been dealing with Breeze. That offense he uses Michael Thomas. And they've had their defense looking good at certain times. But this is going to be what was it two years ago? That- this is going to be Herbert having to learn another new offense. Could be the sophomore slump. Herbert, I, I, he's really good. Don't get me wrong, but I think everybody trying to throw him into being a top five quarterback and no, all of this stuff that people are talking about and 10. how he's top 10 though. Oh, uh, we got too many. This is for another day, but we have more top 10 guys and there are 10 positions. There's probably 15 quarterbacks in the NFL. You that people will put in the top 10. I disagree. I think you want to put a lot of people in. No, are you telling? So you're telling me right now that Justin Herbert's in the top 10, but Baker Mayfield is not. This is the type of shit I'm talking about right here. We'll the disrespect. We'll, we'll, okay, so the disrespect. Anyways, keep going. They're so the at Washington. The disrespect that you gave to Jerry Rice a couple weeks ago. I, I'm going to respect the fact that we'll continue this on another. show. I have not said that he that Jerry Rice was not a top ten you receiver said he all wasn't time. A top three. So, I said he's not a top three. He's okay, number four so best receiver all time. Okay. Still, stop your, stop your rant. Continue. Dallas. Let's, okay. They they have Dallas at home. So okay. Then they're at Kansas City. Raiders on a Thursday night. Cleveland, Baltimore, New England. That is a run where they're going to lose five games. Think so? Yeah. Okay. Uh, at Philly, I don't think so. But. So you don't you you have them beating Kansas City? No. Do you have them beating Cleveland? No. Do you have them beating Baltimore in Baltimore? No. Do you have them beating the Raiders on yes. Thursday night? Yes. Wow, you just dislike the Raiders because you have them losing every game. No, I I I have respect for the Raiders from back in the day, and I just don't think they have the team. Okay. Um, so then we're at Philly. 
I Make, think they, so. I think they win two out of those. You think two they win out two five. out of those? Two out of the five. All right. Uh, Minnesota at home. Pittsburgh on a Sunday night at home. At Denver at Cincy. Giants at home. Kansas City on Thursday. At Houston, Denver, and then Raiders. I got to win in six games, six or seven tops. Yeah, I would say it would be interesting over under on eight. Because I think eight's kind of their, their number. But who, you never know with injuries, and you don't know when it's that second year slump. Like, that's that could I'm, absolutely happen. I so, have second year slump, new OC. New offense. Granted, he had to learn, learn a new offense last year. I get it. Now, teams have tape on him. I know he can rip the ball. I get it. Let's Maybe see he what, grew his hair back what, out, and, he, and he's Let's see what again. defenses it's do not, now that they have an entire year of film on this kid. Yeah, I agree. Like, it, it's going to be interesting. That second-year slump is real. It is real. So, and with the new OC, like you said, I like Herbert. But we got to see. I, I, I kind of have to agree. 7-8, yeah. I would say. Yeah. All right, so let's get into to Las Vegas Raiders. I love you, uncles, but let's get into this. All right, so Baltimore mm-hmm. at home. I think they lose it. Then they're at Pittsburgh. Big Ben is good in the beginning of the season. I think they lose it. Then they're at home versus Miami. I think they lose it. Then they're at the Los Angeles Chargers. You had them losing. I think they lose it. So they're starting out own four. Then they're at home against Chicago. Then they're at Denver. And then they're at home against Philly. And those, I think they might go two for three. Maybe Chicago, depending on how that, that quarterback situation is going to work out. And same thing with Denver. It's a two and five. Philly, yeah. I mean, we're not not looking good already. At New York, I think they win. Giants that. or Jets? Giants, excuse me. I think I always think New Jersey for the Jets. It's just they both play in the same stadium. I know, I but it's just like it. When you think of the Jets, it's like the Sopranos. It's like the New Jersey, and then you think of New York, and it's like I don't know. It's, maybe it's just me. Um, okay, Kansas City, you're losing. Um, Cincinnati. I say you win. Dallas, I think you lose. Washington, I think you lose. Kansas City, I think you lose. Cleveland, I think you lose. Denver, maybe. Indianapolis, you lose. And Chargers, I'll give you that one. Maybe you'll win the last game of the season. So you have them winning like five games. Mm -hmm. And they're going to lose this division. They're going to be in the bottom of this division. Oh, my gosh. That's hilarious because that's not where I have them. But we're good. What do you think? What do you, I have them winning nine games, eight or nine games. I'm not going to put that much disrespect on the Las Vegas Raiders. Okay. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I, I shouldn't do it, but I did it. I can't. Oh, yeah. I had people calling you out. My uh, I compadre, they're, they're who's a Steelers just, fan, is like, dude, tell your boy that he needs to do some research on that defense and that team talking about the Steelers, giving you a hard time. I was like, man, I thought I was going to be hard on the Steelers. And you were way more. Hard on the Steelers. But All that's right. okay, though. It's a challenge. Yeah, I will. So we'll see. I'll take it. I, I take the, the, the respect. All that's right. That's fine. All so right. you've got them doing nothing. Yeah. I've got Denver. All right. What do you got? So Denver, I don't think Aaron Rodgers is going to Denver. I think Aaron Rodgers is going to be in Green Bay. So they're going to be running with either Teddy Bridgewater or Drew Locke. I don't have a lot of conviction for Vic Fangio and Pat Shermer. As far as being head coach, offensive coordinator on a team, I don't believe that this team is going to be very good. With that being said, they can still win seven, eight games because of their defense, because they have a running game. If that defense, if that offensive line can keep whichever quarterbacks upright, they'll be in games. With that being said, seven or eight wins tops. I'm listen. This is this is the time frame where everything is supposed to be hopeful. I'm looking at things through a hopeful lens, the glass half full lens. So way too early. So the prediction. Denver, yeah, the Denver seven eight win sounds great right now. That might change to three or four by the time the season rolls around. But right now, I'm looking at everybody glass half full type stuff. This is the best they could do seven eight wins. 
I have never seen you as a glass half full. You're, it's the you're off always, season. It's the off season. You're always a glass the, <laughs> empty. Tub. It's the off season. It's time for hope. Hey, hey, you know what? I I I love the positive, James. During the season, we get down to reality. All right. Okay. So. Uh, then, so then I'll talk about how bad the Steelers really are. And okay. I'll and I will definitely appreciate that. Um right. so they're at the Giants. Okay. At Jacksonville. Okay. Jets at home. Ball, they're probably two and one. Yeah, they could be Baltimore okay. at home. Mm-hmm. Now we're two and two. Yeah. Then at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's not gonna lose to Denver at home. I don't think. We can't have Denver lose or Pittsburgh lose in every game. Two if and three. If Aaron Rodgers is there. Raiders at home. Okay. At what, do you, what, do you, what do you think that game's going to be? You think you took the Raiders already, right? Okay. Uh, at Cleveland. Okay. Washington loss. at home. Loss. At Dallas. I loss. think a loss. Philly at home. Possible. Chargers at home. Possible. At Kansas City. Loss. Detroit at home. Possible. Cincinnati at home. Possible. At Raiders. Possible. At Chargers. Kansas City at home. Lost. So, okay, so their schedule's a their little schedule's bit, a little bit nicer. Is, is probably one of the better schedules com- out of the four that we just talked about. If the Chargers had this schedule, or if the Raiders had this schedule, I know they kind of do, yep. but they don't. Right. They had this There's schedule. Thrown they're, in. they're having those two more victories that you weren't giving them. Yep, I, I would agree. Hmm. So, okay, now I... Now I get that makes sense. That might be one of the first things that you kind of it makes sense to me. Your mind works in different ways. This is um, true. So, all right, let's get into some NBA because this is what I love. Have you been watching some games? Of course, I've watched them all. Damian Lillard is amazing. Well, I didn't watch that game. It was on NBA TV. I watched them all. It was on NBA TV. So, of course, the one thing I bring I up, got to you see. Don't... No, no, no. I got to see what he did. Of course. 12 three-pointers, hit the three-pointer to go live, to overtime, hit the three-pointer to take him to the second overtime. overtime. And But he made, every, in the in the first OT, I think he had 12 points, and it was all contested threes. And if you saw at the very end of the game in the second overtime, mm-hmm. Austin Rivers was just like, thank God he finally missed one. Yeah. And they still lost. And that's the first thing he said. He goes, yeah. And now did you hear what he said today? Was it the quoting of a uh, rap lyric? Was it Nipsey, Nipsey Hustle? Yeah. So pretty much. So, How long do I stay? Yes, Whatever. they committed. And so in so many words, subscript, he's trying to put it out there. He's pulling your favorite player, Russell Wilson's kind of little sigh. Mm-hmm. Mr. Unlimited. <laughs> yes, I got it out of him. Um, so, but he's a stud and he doesn't get the respect. And I honest, he's in his prime. I wouldn't. Nobody's going to go to Portland. No. Nobody that like it wants to. He could go join and become a big two or a big three, and absolutely will that team to win. I don't know what's going to what it's going to take, and I don't, I don't know if he'll do it. I don't want to see that. Oh, okay. We want to see that happen. Then let him go to Dallas. Join Luca and the rest oh. of the crew. Because here's the thing: I don't want to see. I don't want to see him going to the Lakers and playing with LeBron. And the no, Lakers always get no, in their way. No, no, no. I don't want that. I don't want to see him I'm, going to the clip show. No, no. I don't want to see him in New York. No. Do, yes. I actually really love that. That's. Or Send him to Dallas. It would be interesting. We'll give you a Chris Tapp Porzingis. So, Luke has been killing it too. Oh, he's incredible. I mean, we have some interesting things happening. So, Jokic. The, the dad, MVP. The dad. But God, dude, <laughs> is killing does, it. Does he, he shot, know that he doesn't live in Europe anymore? That he can eat vegetables? Hey, like there's actual greens he could it, have. Does it matter? Well, look at what he's doing. What he put up thirty six. Like he freaking shut Memphis down. He's unbelievable. Damn. He's an unbelievable talent. So we're gonna have Utah either against Dallas or the Clippers. It looks like Dallas. I think it's going to They play tonight. That's game six. Dallas is going to shut this out tonight. Look for a 40-plus 10-10 and game from the old... uh, Triple-double? Yeah. You you think Luka is going to get a triple-double? He's going to try everything he can to shut them, to get it done now. You don't want to go game seven. So then we got Phoenix, who... 
I love was the better team over the Lakers. Yeah. And it wasn't the NBA willing the Lakers to make it. We got the better team moving on against Denver. And the Lakers I, had no chance. They couldn't move them on. They had well, no chance. They even Anthony Davis tried to play. He should have not even. It's, first off, you don't. You don't do immediately. It's going to pop. It's you can't do that. If you have the expectation that you have to win this game to get to Game Seven, then have the expectation that you're going to win this game and save him for Game Seven. Correct. Give him the extra two or three days that might have bought you an extra 15, 20 minutes of actual basketball play. That first, the first. The chance, so when this game got ready to start, I was, of course, by myself in here. I'm yelling at the television before the game starts. Go at him right away. I'm switching pick and roll. I'm trying to get him one-on-one top of the key, and I'm going at him to see where it's at. What do they do? Chris Paul did it. Booker did it. The second time Booker did it, he's Crowder out. Crowder did it. Yep. We're gonna, the first was quarter awesome. was disgusting. The first half was horrible. And then they ended up coming back and only losing by 13. It was 113 to 100. But the Lakers stopped playing in the last three minutes. Oh, yeah. And LeBron was just like, no, I'm done. Yep. He was wiped. Yeah. But they actually were coming back, and it just stopped. Like, Well, they made I, that run in the third quarter and started pressing we, it. It was they cut it to 10, and it was, oh, no, the Suns cannot let this slip away. Yeah. Because you don't want no. LeBron James in a game seven regardless of the, the floor. They did it. Hey, they did it. Good for them. All right, so now in the East. We got well, hold on. Because oh. there was a lot of people talking, a lot of smack. You know, I love me to, you know, hate a little bit on LeBron. I, still the greatest player of all time. From my hometown. Love him. Brought his championship. Don't want to see him league, et cetera, et cetera. We know this. But people bashing him for getting bounced in the first round. It's like, dude, well, he so went 14 in a row first rounds yeah, without so getting bounced. 14 ones. First time. Yeah. Right. Don't, like, we don't want to hear that. And people want to talk about Michael Jordan didn't do, do, do that. Oh, yes, he did. He did that in Chicago when he came back. Magic bounced him out. And then when he was in uh, Washington, nobody wants to remember that he was with the Wizards and they didn't. So just everybody pumped the brakes on LeBron's not the greatest or he's fallen off the Mount Rushmore of basketball because of a bad series with a bad team. The 2004 Cavaliers team he took to the finals and got swept by the, uh, swept by the uh, San Antonio Spurs was a better team than this Lakers team. All roads lead back to Cleveland, yes. It gets back there somehow or another. Well, Lakers, okay. LeBron, I but mean. But at the same point, there's what, four or five seasons where he didn't even make the playoffs. His first couple years, he didn't make it. So, yes, he had 14 years, and he didn't do it. It's something to talk about. That's all it That's is. That's all it is. That's all it is. Okay, let's get into the East. Um, so, we got Philly, who finally finished off Washington. Which yes, sir. We kind of fit, figured that was, was going to happen. interesting because Embiid was out. But they stepped up, they did their thing. And then Atlanta beating New York, which I love. Trey Lance bowing that was at the Madison Square Garden after at two seconds left, hitting that three, and just like it was pretty much a big And I what? love what he said after when they asked him about it. He said, Well, I I've been to New York. I know on Broadway when a show is over, you bow. The show was over. Yeah, I didn't hear the that. show was over. <laughs> I, that was a fantastic line. He just smiled with that that grin that just like the fat lady smile. Yeah, oh yeah, it was perfect. Oh. It was very entertaining. So who do you got uh, I'm curious out of this, who do you think? Philly or Atlanta? Philly, they just have more horses. I agree. Oh, it'll I take just, them six games. Yeah. But it Philly's gonna win this. I don't believe in Philly. I actually, even though Atlanta has less experience. Philly's been making it but not doing anything in the playoffs the last few years. I think Atlanta gets this. I do. Okay. All right, so this is the most interesting one out of all of these series to me is going to be Milwaukee and Brooklyn. I can't stand either team, so obviously. This is, I think, in the last 26 years, or, or it was 26 years ago was the last time that the two top scorers of teams were in this position. You know I've already picked Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. I think Brooklyn wins it in six. See, I think my uncle has Milwaukee winning the whole thing, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'll take... He is mistaken. I'll take Brooklyn in six. I, I don't want to agree with you necessarily, but I, I don't see anybody beating... Although, like we said, with Brooklyn, their depth now, maybe they just won't need it because of the, you know their big three and having Joe Harris knocking down shots all day, but like their depth considerably falls off. Yeah. So it's going to be one of those where you're gonna have to get creative to beat this team. You're gonna have to get they these guys in foul team. trouble. I'm not saying that it's not going to be easy. 
I still just believe in Brooklyn. No, that's what I'm saying. But to beat Brooklyn, I think you're going to have to, like, get creative. I would love to see Brooklyn Phoenix. God, the one time Phoenix or Brooklyn, gets the Dallas. championship and see. see I, I, I would, <sighs> more so Phoenix just because I like, I think. Well, I'm run obviously, in the West, that is going to be my pick. Okay. To move on. I think with the high they're coming off of. Beating the Lakers, I, beating LeBron, and Booker knowing that they are beast. deep enough. Yeah. And I don't want to make the comparison, so I won't make the comparison. But <laughs> you have so many backhanded. <laughs> okay. But make the comparison. Booker was definitely playing yesterday like a guy that used to play in that building. Mm hmm. And was trying to close it out like a guy that used to play in that building. He should have bowed to And him. his interviews at the end was very much like a guy that played in that building. Well, and he got LeBron. It was, very, it was very interesting to watch him handle himself and how that was going down and just watching it. He was taking uh, – he took the game over from the beginning. Yeah. And it, was got, very, it was awesome to see the maturation of Devin Booker. He got LeBron to sign his jersey and ride it a little – I don't know if you saw that picture. Yeah, I, did. I saw the few so pictures. So behind the yeah, scenes, yeah. they didn't do it on the court. But yeah. Well, they couldn't have done it on the court. LeBron wasn't there. He walked no, off yeah, and didn't he, shake hands. Of course. But that's the respect. Yeah, Booker afterwards. Yeah, stud. yeah. No, he is. 100%. So, all right. Um, I want to get into, speaking of respect, Coach K. Krzyzewski. I I don't understand how you do not think he is the best college coach of all time. He might be the best college coach ever. In all of sports, if you I look could, at it, I mean, what? 1,170 wins. Yeah. In <laughs> five decades, five championships, but you're the best ever. Okay. He had 20 winning seasons. In 46 years. 36, to be exact. Now, he said he played, he coached in five decades. He said he had 46 years of college basketball experience. His head coach, Duke, was 36. So Okay, so just, just at Duke. Okay. So at 36, so he you, won four. Okay. I'm right. You're wrong. Um Man, okay. either way, much respect. He's going to coach this last year, and he's still going to be part of Duke. It's He's definitely going to be helping out with recruiting. They can I, recruit all they want because college basketball is dead, my friend. Oh, he talked about that, too. Oh, I'm sure he used an excuse. You think I'm retiring because well, he's, he, he went because off, of the game's change? It's been 46 years. You don't think the game's changed? No, it 100% has changed he's doing over it that time. He's doing it for his time. family. He's got dang, 10 grandkids. You're doing he's it for kids. your family. Okay, yeah. Whatever. You can say it how you want Salud, to. Salud, Coach K. What he said is that the, you can't handle this preparation as far as kids going from high school to college to the NBA or skipping that by doing committees. And that's all that they have been doing for the last five years. And he's on two of the committees, and he's saying stop that. I 100% agree. Put one person in charge, make a decision, and mm. if we're not going to do the G League or let people play overseas – then let them go from high school. Let the decision be made, but yep. make a stinking decision. These dang committees that the NCAA does is ridiculous. Yep. I'm tired of it. That's my rant Agreed. for today. Okay. Uh, before we get into the story, I'm curious to think, so we got uh, this Sunday, we got the uh, Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather fight. Oh, yeah. And it's getting all blown up. I know I, my feelings about it. I'm curious to know what you think. Oh, it's Fugazi. So who's going to win? No one's going to no, win. There's no, no winner. No ref. There's no winner. So you think it no, says nobody's going to? The win. rules are there's no winner. Correct. But no you, ref, but no judges. Can, but you can get knocked. out. You can out. get knocked out, but you're still not going to lose. Okay. So if White Boy Rick is laid out on the canvas, <laughs> I love to know that. Okay, he's laid out on the canvas. We got no ref, so he's just going to lay there until what? Well, no. There's the guy on the outside that's going to call it. There's not going to be much respect, and maybe it is more hype. Floyd Mayweather already said he made $30 million already this it, the here's, hype. I don't expect the fight to finish. I think, think this, be like the Tyson this fight? circus event that's going to happen, something will intervene. I really do think so. I hope Floyd Mayweather knocks his... And this would be the first time I would ever would ever he wants to root for point. Floyd Mayweather. I can't stand him neither. Oh, he's a horrible human being. I, I think he's a chicken shit boxer. He doesn't. He dodged punch, Pacquiao for yeah. ten years, and he just dances for twelve rounds. He does, Granted, but he's, he's the best at what he's done. He's made a ton of money. Respect the hustle, but he's not the pound for pound greatest fighter, and not even close. I would agree with that. 
I don't, I, it's interesting because Logan, Logan Ball is like what, like four or five inches? Six two, one ninety, and he's and he's solid, and he's reach, been. If, he would if, beat if the he, shit out of me. Yes, he no doubt. Lays out Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, and knocks him out and yeah. just walks away. Does that Everybody's ruin Floyd go. Mayweather's career? No, because people will go back to it was an exhibition. That dude's way bigger than him. If it was in a real boxing it was fight, like the old school, yeah, yeah, like yeah, celebrity yeah, yeah. boxing. Okay, yeah, whatever. All right, now. The same time is it him or the other brother fighting? Jake Paul. No, is yeah Tyron Woodley in mm -hmm. August. Now that because I think Woodley's going to legitimately put that kid in the hospital. Well, he's it's I mean what he's a UFC fighter that has been a champion, a stud, been a champion. Will like, be in the UFC and, Hall and of he's Fame. Bigger. He's not like some quick like he, he's shorter he's, though. He's got some. He's shorter. Punishment to him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's it's shorter like by a couple Mayweather inches. He's going to be dodging and try and get it. No, no. They'll be the same They'll be the same weight. He's just going to be about three inches shorter than him. All right. I, I, I'm curious. I kind of just want to, like, it's so interesting. I don't want to actually pay for this, but I want to watch I'm it. I'm not going to pay my money to watch it just because I don't want to fund either of those two jackasses, but I'll find it on Twitter. Somebody will be posting I'll find my nephew videos. and then you find the... Oh, doors. yeah, there you go. Not that we do anything bad. Um, okay, so we were talking about a, a story. We were trying to think of some different ones, and we had, we had a good one. Speaking about with normally our shows around football. So w when we were at work, we were in a building, so we were on the second story, and we had a big conference room. And when everybody would leave, and even sometimes at lunch, we tried to sneak it, it mostly in. mostly lunch. But we would... Put up, we'd lower the, the huge screen, and we do Madden tournaments. So we bring in the old Xbox 360 or PS3, depending on who won, could pick the they system. They got to pick the next system, right? Which was, I hated playing on the PS3. Anyways, so we would do this, and it was fun. So it kind of became a thing, and then we, it, fantasy football came around. So this was one of the first years that I started um, joining fantasy football. And... We I'll decided you know. we've done the draft in many different places. We had it at McDuffie's back in the day um, in Tempe. We would have it at somebody's house. Uh, but that year it was a Friday and we decided our director at the time was also in the league. And he was like, oh, we'll just get the, let's get the, you know, the conference room. So he approved us. To so do he approved this, us. Right? So he, yeah. he okay. scheduled the conference room for 6 p.m., like 6 to like 9 p.m. On a Friday, he ordered pizza. Where the building was was a walk to a convenience store, so you could pick some, pick up some libations. Yeah, bring them back and have you know pizza and wings and a drink and do our draft on an Excel spreadsheet on a projector. Back yeah, this back is, in the day at work. Yeah, this is before you could uh, do live. Drafts. Everybody coming in wanted to know what was going on, being yelled at to get out. We had security telling us we couldn't do it. Um, but everybody was pretty much gone by seven. Everybody's pretty much gone. Eight at the latest, okay? So so we got to doing the draft that way for about three years, two or three years, and then that got shut down uh, simply because we were bringing uh, alcoholic beverages to work, even though it was after hours. So we got a little hand slappy uh, for that. Um, the Madden tournaments ended because they found out we were gambling. Because there was money being exchanged, so uh, I mean, they you know, shut at us the down end of the day, the stupidest stuff. Like again, it, we again. It's not like the man holding us down. Man, can't ha can't gam. Why? I mean, Don't what is the world coming? Me. What Don't is the world coming me. to when you can't drink and gamble at work, ladies and gentlemen? I'm you, just, this is these are the it's days. unbelievable, unbelievable. But now you can and you can smoke and do whatever you want. Everything it seems like for the everything. most part these days. anything can be delivered to your house within two hours. Anything you want. Hey, so God bless America. Th those weren't the days. No, those weren't. <laughs> All right, man. Well, hey, we had a lot to cover this week. We yeah. We're going to get into another division next week. Yep. Um, we so if you haven't noticed, we got more merch. That's coming right, up. more merch. This is actually the first time I'm wearing repping my stuff, even though it's got the JamesOutWest.com. Subtitle. James out West. Of course, he's as got, always. He's, he's always rocking it. Always. But we're putting more stuff out. We got the stickers coming in. We Stickers, got, got, hats, you can get shirts, you can get pretty much... I, I made a, a post on our blog for the first time. Nice. I actually Rooks's did something. Corner. Um, except for I didn't post it in Rooks' Corner. I accidentally posted it on the blog because it was my first time. But it's, uh, it, it's a start. 
Um, but check us out on Instagram. We got the podcast going, um, YouTube. We still can't tell you what's, what's going about on yet. to happen, but we still have some big things, especially locally. Um, but yeah, man. Right on. Good stuff? Yeah. All right, homie. Next week. All right. Later. One love.